Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Mihon app on your mobile device. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Alright, first step is to open up a web browser and then go to Google, type in Mihon APK. And now the first result here, we want to go to Mihon.app, so to the download section here. Now from here, you might get a little install button. Like so, if you don't, go ahead and click on the Mihon volume 0.19.1. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now this does require an Android 8.0 or higher for this. All right, so go ahead and click on download. And now that's going to go ahead and download. And then from here, you want to go ahead and open it up. So we, do you want to install this app? Yes, we do. So click on install. Now give that a few moments to go ahead and install. From here, we can go ahead and open up Mihon. Now it's going to update to the latest version, so you can go ahead and click on what's new if you like, or go ahead and click on OK. Now from here, we got we need to configure some settings. So let's set up some things first. You can always change these later. So I'm going to do system. Now from here, select the folder where Mihon will store chapter downloads, backups, and more. A dedicated folder is recommended. Select folder, no storage, location set. Then from here, updating from an older version, not sure what to select, refer to the storage guide for more information. Now, we want to go ahead and click on select a folder. Now, I suggest just creating a new folder for this. So I'm just going to call this Mihon and then click OK. Then click use this folder and then allow and then click on to next. Now, we need to grant some permissions here. So let's set some things up first. You can always change these in the settings later. So we need to grant permission for the install apps permission, grant notification permission, and grant background battery usage. And we can also um, disable these if you like. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go through these one by one. So click on grant here. Click on allow. Grant again. Click on allow. Now, as you do it, you're going to see a little tick box there and grant again click allow now let's see if i can disable them yeah i'm going to disable those two not needed really now from here so if you're new to mihon go ahead and click on the getting started guide which is very handy now if you're reinstalling mihon you can restore from a backup i'm just going to go ahead and click on get started now from here you're going to come to the main interface to library now from here we want to go ahead and click on to more click on to settings then click on to browse and then click on to extension repos. Now we need to go ahead and add an extension in. So a good one is to get the Kiyoshi extension. So we can get this from github.com. So do a Google search and then click onto that. Now from here, scroll down and look for the guide section. Sorry, under usage, we want to go ahead and copy this. So otherwise copy and paste the following URL, but you can also add our repo by visiting that site too. But this is basically it here. So copy and paste this. And now go back to your extensions repos, click on to add, and now paste in that repo and click add. And now go back here, then go back again, and now click back into browse. Then from here, click on to extensions repo. So now we can see this extension is in here, Q or she. So from here, go back, then go back again, then go back again, then basically come back to your library and then click into browse. But I'm not going to click into it because there is, um, adult stuff in there but what I can do I can just blur this out so you can see so now basically you can um, install this to the right here you just click on install and you just go through the process of adding that into your Mihon app 